Hi, hello, <laughs> here we are. Welcome everybody uh, to the Tech Jobs Fair Tech Talk with Hot Food Technology Solutions. Today, our topic is how to identify a high growth organization with an accelerated career growth plan for employees. And we have got uh, Vivek Naidu with us, founder at Hot Food Technology Solutions. Um, briefly introducing um, him, he's an experienced founder with a demonstrated history of working in the banking and financial services, business process design and consulting, and financial technology. His passion about lending with more than one half decades of experience in banking sales, credit evaluation, score-based decisioning, and digitization. He has built a platform that will enhance the lending and borrowing experience. So hello, um, welcome Vivek, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? I'm not bad myself, thank you, thank you for asking. And uh, without further ado, uh, we have a lot to talk about today, so let's, um, let's start with uh, some of our, of our questions. I would like to ask you to first please tell us about Hot Food, how did you start, your vision and so forth, please. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be on this talk and for the opportunity. Um, Hotfoot is a is a enterprise fintech, if I may call it that. Um, we uh, we started in 2016. Uh, what we are trying to focus on is to bring about social change um, in the way lending is done at the bottom of the pyramid. And mm -hmm. what that means is that um, the, if you categorize customers um, into A, B, and C category, um, banks and financial institutions are very comfortable lending to customers who are able to produce a large amount of documentation. It could be uh, income tax return. It could be a salary slip. It could be a bank statement, which actually corroborates the fact that they have the income and that also they are there's an income stream to pay off the loan. <clears throat> However, there's a large bulk across the world, close to 50 to 60 percent of uh, small businesses who have the income but may not have the documentary proof to actually prove that they have that particular income. This is true in India. This is true in much of Southeast Asia. Quite honestly, this is even true in uh, countries like North America, um, and I would assume so in Europe as well. <clears throat> um, so what we've tried to do is to build a platform where these customers uh, who borrow at very exorbitant rates of interest, which makes their business unviable, uh, to borrow efficiently and join the mainstream of finance. Um, so we are trying to use technology uh, to make people's lives better. Um, <laughs> Um, we are a growth phase company. Um, we, we, we are in the turbocharged phase. Um, we have a huge potential to observe talent. Um, we are expanding in India and we are expanding, expanding in other places, um, notably in the UK and in some parts of uh, Northern Africa. Um, we, even through COVID, the fact that we... Uh, we actually grew during COVID, which is a cute, when the whole world came to a stop. Um, we are one of those companies which grew. Um, so there's a lot of collaboration, innovation, and collective learning that takes place. Um, so that's that's a brief about uh, what Hotfoot is. Very good. Sounds good. And it's good to hear that COVID also had some positive impact. And uh, I think the the, the 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 sentence that you said also maybe. Uh, is what also makes it really nicely put that you try and make people's lives easier. Um, this is a good one. And I uh, would go to the next question that is more related to career. And so how would you answer this? What does the career map of an engineering starting off now in this age of high disruption look like? What would you say? Um, so one of the things that we're doing interestingly is that uh, we are not fixing a path. Um, and we try to ask ourselves this question in terms of who we are as a company. And I think uh, the best way to describe us is that we swim against the current. 
Um, okay. And in many ways, it's it's um, you can call it disruption if you like, and that is something that we bring um, to uh, the jobs of of people or the careers of people who work here. So we don't have a fixed path. Um, what we do is uh, hire engineers and then allow them to move across different layers of technology. Um, so ours being a platform is um, it allows us to leverage uh, multiple technologies uh, to do what we do. Um, so uh, we have core engineering, we have machine learning, we have AI, um, we have uh, data sciences. Um, so across all of these different layers of technology, we allow people to move um, so that they can learn more. Um, we are very keen in making sure that our engineers do not stagnate in terms of the tech that they use. So th there is no staleness that gets created. Um, earlier, you would find a pattern that if there is a if somebody is a back end engineer, he or she. UI developer, for example, like they spend predominant amount of their careers doing that. But today we allow our people, depending upon their interest and attitude, we allow them to move across technology so that they can scale up. Um, the interesting thing is that um, every engineer in Hotfoot has the advantage of being able to create tailored growth paths, so which means that your skill set doesn't trail the skill sets of the group. Um, so you can create an individual uh, um, individual path for yourselves in terms of what technologies you want to use and deploy. Um, to sum it up, the approach that we have um, is that we have entrepreneurship within the organization. So if you have the mindset where we are using a particular technology today, but you want to bring something new, you want to experiment with it, you want to... Um, and you believe that we you can make it better than what it is today by applying a new employing a new technology we allow you to do it and we are okay with people failing when they are attempting to do it because um, I, I think failing is a step, stepping stone to learning and success um, so we don't have a problem with that um, and 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 um, this is how we um, create a career map if you call it very good. Sounds good to me. And uh, indeed, um, uh, failure is uh, is this word, this uh, buzzword that has been, you know, changed perspectives of people. Indeed, it's a it's a good thing that you mentioned that you see this as a an opportunity to still learn and improve. So very interesting. No fixed path, and you have this idea of swimming against the current. So. Keep learning, keep fighting stagnation. Very, very interesting. And um, next, I would like to ask, how um, have you created a high growth environment for your employees then? Um, I think the, the core focus is innovation. Um, we are in a space um, where uh, there is no there is no benchmark uh, in terms of solutioning in terms of how you can solve a problem and if you if you gave the work to five people uh, probably they would all approach it very differently um, so um, the way that um, we compete with companies who've been in this business for 30 years plus and here we are a very young organization who've been who have no um, legacy uh, mm -hmm. and we've been able against the giants if i if i can say so and we're still able to survive is because we've massively innovated in terms of how technology is is deployed um and i think that's one of the key um because when there's innovation on a daily basis um all existing notions of how something can be done gets challenged. You, there is a why to everything, and there is a mm -hmm. and why there is also a why not in terms of you know why, how why can't we do this differently? Uh, so we are a high. We are an extremely strong uh, learning development uh, department. Um, a lot of companies focus on. Uh, learning and development at the entry level of jobs. Um, uh, 
but what we do is again we've reversed this we spend a lot more money in training engineers with experience uh, as as a percentage are spent on training uh, people on new skills uh, new technologies is probably 2x of the spend that we do um we have no correlation between numbers of years of experience and growth um mm -hmm. some of our some of our uh, engineers who lead projects today are 23 24 years old and in the traditional okay. environment um it's unheard of you'll have to go from one ring to the other one ring to the other one ring to the other you know mm -hmm. before you can get um and and this in some ways is against like swimming against the tide right um so we 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 do not correlate number of years to growth um uh, mm -hmm. we create small cohorts of um small teams uh, within the organization uh, which pushes learning so if you if you typically walked into our office uh, we've got open seating um we do not have fixed desks for anybody um at any given point in time uh, our engineers and employees usually crowd around at one place where they are required the most um which means uh, in today's environment i don't think availability of information is the problem i think there's too much information there are too many skills to learn and one person can't learn everything um so the beauty of it is there's so much of collaboration happening that uh, you will find small groups of people in different parts of the floor uh the focus is to uh learn and try and solve problems uh and uh, like i said before um uh, we allow people to experiment uh, in terms of creating solutions now that could sound like saying that if i am a android developer then i will experiment in whatever happens with android but in in developer and then if you within the organization um, if you want to for example move to automated testing and you want to give it a mm -hmm. shot you want to become a full stack developer and give it a shot or if you want to learn automation and decisioning and you want to give it a shot as long as you have the aptitude uh, which role you are currently in we do not put a we do not put a stop on it so there's a lot of people moving across functions experimenting um I, I, and i don't know if it is politically right for me to say this um in the age of the great resignation there are people who have left the organization who are who are in i at least get two to three calls a week and one of the biggest regrets that they have is people don't learn as much that they used to in hot food they say sir yes we've come we've come to much fantastic coffee um, we're not learning as much as we used to learn in hot food um so that was a high growth environment that we had that's really interesting to hear and i yeah i think that uh, most of our viewers are finding uh, this useful as well by the way i was checking our chat so thanks everybody for being here um we we will have some time in the end for some q and a so do drop your questions in our in our chat and uh, let's move to the next one um also related with uh, company culture and uh, employees and career how do i identify a high potential employee what traits do you look out for um vivek the first and foremost uh, trait that we look and i and i think it's a big cliche but i i don't see how we can move mm -hmm. away from it um is attitude um if you were to um if you were to compare attitude and skill attitude will always win um and we are a, being a very a, being a company with open culture we don't have too many layers which focuses on innovation and learning um we really don't have a concept of uh, supervision which you may be very familiar from europe um uh, which which is very new in india in india the supervision um so for us the the, the winning um the winning trait that that for us is all first is always attitude in mm -hmm. terms of how somebody 
approaches and how do we judge attitude um is there a hunger to learn um are you treating this as something that yeah i'll go to work and i'll try and see how how i can while away my time and how do i see if i can become invisible on the floor so that nobody really comes and asks me um as against that um we always look for people who have the hunger to learn and i think um we have the capability to feed the elephant um there's so much that we're doing um so if you have the appetite of an elephant to learn then then we can feed you we can feed that appetite um <laughs> we love self starters uh, we love people who are self driven um there's always a buzz in hot food in terms of uh, how something can get solved um mm-hmm. if we do if we have open seating for the engineers we also hope have open seating for the management we have a no cabin policy um so none of the senior management in hot food have individual cabins of their own um they are also okay. open seat means that uh, you can approach anybody at any time and our simple yardstick of self starters is um how many people considering that we we have no physical barriers you don't have to talk to somebody secretary to set up a meeting if you have a problem then you walk up to that certain that person's desk and say i have this problem can you help me solve it uh, what can i so we love self starters um so that's a, another key um aspect of who we are and um the ability to serve or to solve problems rather than to state them because typically you will find a lot of people who can identify the problem but then mm-hmm. we love people to also solve them um mm-hmm. it's very much hand in hand with our ability to allow you to experiment um we we do not look at uh, mistakes uh, as the end of the world um we fundamentally leverage a lot of mistakes that people make Uh, to make our l and d better and that's a very very good way of learning um so we have a fairly uh, open culture where uh, we love people who can solve problems um when they say solve problems rather than this identifying them they can come and give us potential solutions and then we pick the best mm-hmm. yeah i like that <laughs> the attitude will always win um <laughs> and uh, yeah that you have flat year keys and stuff like that no barriers you know you're always in contact with your colleagues uh that sounds uh like something very interesting um in a good environment to work with and uh my last question then would be for today any advice that you want to give to young tech professionals please go ahead um i'm 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 a i'm a huge fan of steve jobs um mm-hmm. and he once said that if you hire smart people and tell them what to do then you're doing something wrong mm-hmm. um, so i'm not really sure if i'm the right guy to give advice um but uh, um uh, i probably rather than giving it calling it advice i could probably say say sharing some ideas right um, mm-hmm. your experience mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. so i think the um, the folks in tech have an extremely bright future um and and that's something that i force if you look over a period of time um we've always moved from a scenario of scarcity for jobs um and if you couple that with uh, economic ups and downs uh mm-hmm. it may appear that uh, your job your i think at least for the foreseeable future at least for the next 5 to 7 years uh, i i i see that there will be an abundant of jobs that will be available so i see an extremely bright future for people to build their careers um i keep talking to my team and then one of the things that we do in hotfoot is that how do we help people build careers rather than just giving them a job because mm-hmm. giving jobs is, is it's the past <laughs> um giving people jobs would mean body shopping it would mean that you have an engineer you don't care whether they stay or leave and if they stay good if they don't stay then you just replace them with somebody else that's the definition right. of a job mm-hmm. and the definition of a worker is um people who come who learn 
who stick around um, and also the enjoy the benefits of sticking around the company um, mm -hmm. in the world, you really can't expect everybody to stay which means that people will come and people will move but um, that's the other hallmark of hot food is that throughout covid and in the age of great resignation we've got zero departures in the core team we've got zero mm -hmm. resignations in the core team so whatever we whatever people that we've lost we've lost um, probably on the operational side um, which is something that uh, but that explains the fact that um, we're building careers in hot that people invest in their skills um, things are changing so fast and i only learning on the job um, that's the tendency of a lot of people is that they rely much of their learning to happen on the job um, and mm -hmm. the best judge how much time are people spending on learning uh, given uh, outside of work in their personal time how much of time is one spending to learn is it half an hour one hour two hour are you listening to a podcast are you read have you tried to build something out of your work this is a good yardstick to because people mistake they say yeah, i'm building my skill whatever i'm doing at work is is i'm i'm building something new it's a skill but the real yardstick is how much of time do you spend outside of your work to improve your skills um and as we move to a gig economy um uh, the other idea that i would like to place and share uh, with people is that please do take a long term view on your work um yes there are economic opportunities where every 3 years you can move from one company to another and uh, at the end of it if you look at Uh, let's assume that you stayed at one organization for 10 years uh, there's enough data to show that what you would benefit economically the way that you will benefit from having a stable life the way that you will be able to you know if you stayed in an organization for a longer period of time rather than making frequent uh, frequent changes um so everything that i'm telling you you can go to google and validate i'm i'm the sum of it that i'm contextualizing to hotfoot but that's a predominant thought process in terms of how you can um build your project so these are the factors that i want to tell you very good thank you vivek so um we are approaching our the end of our session we would have sometimes uh, some time for q and a so if uh, anybody watching us wants to type in their question to vivek please go ahead um i would like to maybe add one here uh, in the meantime uh so would you like to tell us on which positions you are uh, currently hiring for at hotfoot uh, we are hiring uh, engineers in java uh, we are okay. in in um, ui development html android uh, developers ios developers people in testing uh, manual as well as um, automated we are hiring people in um, production uh, application support um, so we are, we are hiring across the value chain uh, we are hiring business analysts uh, we are hiring um people in hr we are hiring people in recruitment um uh so across the board very good very good so there's plenty of options um i was going through our chat here i was thinking also some notes but i don't see from my end um questions coming here so i would say uh as we are approaching our time uh to end the session uh i would like to thank you vivek for your time and um just mention that you're going to be an exhibitor at tech jobs fair india right you want to yeah, say yes. anything about that yeah um i i think our experience working with the tech jobs fair has been fantastic uh i think the approach has been refreshing uh, as compared to a lot of um people that we've seen and met in this space um 
we like this format that you have. Um, and as the title sponsor this year, uh, Raja, who's our marketing head, uh, tells me that we're just getting started with you guys. Um, and we are very uh, confident and keen on building this relationship. Um, and probably uh, you will see us fairly regularly on Tech Jobs Fair. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your words. We're happy to have you on board. And this is the end of our talk today. Thank you very much, everybody. And uh, yeah, keep up, keep up the good work and see you around. Bye, everybody. Thank you. So Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.